Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new pick a card reading. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what is going on in your person's energy. What are they thinking and feeling about you? If you've had little to no contact lately, maybe you are struggling. Maybe there is a separation that has happened here and you're seeking to gain clarity on what your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, your crush is thinking and feeling at this time. So if you're new to this channel, I am Dr. V. I am so happy to have you here. And today I have three piles for you to choose from. Pile number one, number two, and number three. And we also have some crystals here to help you make your choice. Now, this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate for your situation. But if you'd like to have specific guidance on your unique journey, you can have a personal reading with me. Or you can also order any of these Oracle decks that I've created for you that I'll be using in this reading as well. So all of the links are in the box below. So let's see, for our group number one, we have the Citrine. For group number two, we have the Jasper. And for group number three, we have the Amethyst. So you can choose one, two, or three, or you can choose all of them and take the messages that resonate for you and your situation. So make sure that you do hit that subscribe button, join this incredible community. We'd be so happy to have you. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like because it really helps the channel and it means absolutely the world to me. So without further ado, let's get right into your reading, group number one. All right, my beautiful group one that chose the citrine, here is your reading to get you some clarity on what has been going on with your person if you've had little to no contact. So I've pulled some oracle cards here for you. We're gonna start off with your tarot. So my beautiful group one, Spirit, can you please tell us what's going on with your person? What's going on in their current energy? How are they thinking and feeling about you at this time? Because we've had little to no contact. Let's see what Kipper has to say. All right, so we have the Four of Swords, we have Strength, and we have, wow, the Seven of Swords, interesting. So, and with that, we also have imprisonment and family room. All right, so what I'm feeling here, right now your person is definitely in an energy of withdrawal, okay? I definitely feel that there's been certain things that has happened, that have happened in your person's life or that are going on in their life journey that they have not been able to share with you, that they have not been able to kind of have the strength to really talk to you about. And that is really unfortunate. There's definitely an energy here of hiding, okay? A person really going into some form of hiding here. There's also an energy of, I'm getting also an energy of a little bit of anxiety, some sort of depression. Um, you know, look at this person right here. It's like they're feeling really, really forlorn. They're feeling very alone. Even though you know how sometimes people... Even if they are not truly alone, even though they know that they have people who care about them, who love them, such as you, as well as, you know, family as well. We're getting the family room card. It's like sometimes people have a hard time 
trusting in those relationships or trusting that people do love them. There's a sense of deep isolation that some people feel that comes from a sense of, you know, f not feeling like they are strong enough um, to open up themselves to other people. I'm also getting from your person that they also don't want to be a burden on other people. I do feel, again, a very strong sense of anxiety, depression, a lack of strength or a lack of belief in their own ability to endure or a lack of belief in their own ability to come out of this. And this is why I feel like your person is very much going through kind of like a self-imposed imprisonment here. I don't feel that this is something that has come from the outside world. I feel like this is something that they are dealing with within their own psychology. It's coming from um, their own uh, internal emotional struggles. So your person right now, it's like they are choosing to put themselves in this situation. They are choosing to, you know, not call upon their own internal resources. But I do feel that it is a phase, you know, it's like at some point you have to start saying, no, you know, I am not as weak as I feel right now. I'm not as, um, I'm not as much in a lacking energy as I am feeling right now, that there has to be a pathway out of this energy. But right for right now, your person is definitely in a self-imposed kind of imprisonment. There's a really deep sense of, I have screwed things up. I've screwed up so many things in my life right now that I really don't know how to find my way out. Now, I'm also feeling for some of you that your person has also been dealing with some sort of family situation. Uh, a lot of their anxiety or their depression also comes from unresolved issues that are from their childhood and that are family based. So for some of you, I feel like your person did not have the kind of family support that they needed to really step into a better and greater version of themselves. And so that's one of the reasons why they have felt very alone in their life. You know, this is one of the reasons why they felt like they've always had to kind of battle things out on their own. And because of that, they were also very much conditioned to be secretive about their issues. And this is why I feel we're getting the seven of swords energy is that, you know, when you feel oftentimes growing up that, you know, whatever you are going through or whatever is that you need help with instead of your family helping you, people are judging you or people are criticizing you or they're putting you down as weak. Like, hey, you know what? You're so weak. You can't even handle that. It's like that kind of issue, right? It's like that kind of voices. I feel like your person has a lot of these voices going on in their head. You know, voices going on in their head about like, you know what, you need to hide what you're truly thinking and feeling because if you don't, you are going to regret it. People are going to judge you. People are going to see you as weak. They're going to see you as somebody who can't handle things. So there is a definite discrepancy between how your person kind of portrays themselves to the world versus what they're truly going into or what's truly going on within them inside with the seven of swords energy. So they're definitely hiding a lot of their wounds or they're hiding a lot of the things that they are very insecure about from the world and from you. And so I feel like, you know, I don't want you to take it personally. If you feel that they've been hiding things from you, which they have, I don't want you to take it personally. I feel like they hide these things from everybody. They have a definite hard time opening up to intimacy, opening up their deepest struggles, their deepest thought processes. Um, they have a hard time really opening up to people. And I do feel that it has a lot to do with how they were conditioned or trained in their childhood. I don't feel that your person was, is used to having support. So this is why when it comes to you, I feel like they may be hiding the things that they're going through because they don't want to be a burden on you. 
they've always been made to feel by family or by the way they were raised that when you um, talk about your own weaknesses or when you talk about the things that you are struggling with, it's a burden on other people. You're being a burden on other people. You're not um, being self-sufficient. So this person has always tried to be more self-sufficient because that's the way they have been um, conditioned from childhood. But it's put a lot of emotional, uh, emotional burden on them. You know, your person has really struggled with a lot of emotional issues because of this type of upbringing. And it's like they really struggle to get out of the imprisonment that comes from that. OK, so I'm feeling like one of the main reasons why you are in little to no contact with this person right now. See, makes sense. Look at all of these same energies coming through. The reason why you are in little to no contact with them right now is that something has happened here that has really shut your person down and they have been unable to open up to you as much as they want to, right? Because look at this, we're getting death and we're getting let go of control issues. So I feel like this person has a very deep need to control how others and how you see them. And that is what is getting in the way of this connection. Like they're just not able to really authentically put themselves out there. They always have this sense that I need to create a persona. I need to have a, a certain mask that I put on that protects me from judgment, that protects me from criticism, um, that protects me from even truly feeling. You know, I feel like they've had a lot of issues regarding the end of relationships. Um, this death card is really, really big for your person. I feel like they have dealt with a lot of endings in their life. And this is why they've become very kind of used to being in isolation. It's almost like when you have exp experienced so many endings, so many relationships and connections that have brought you nothing but pain. It's like you've become used to being isolated and on your own. And so it's almost like this person has felt like this little cocoon is more protective for them. It protects their energy. It protects their heart because they've experienced so many endings. So this is really um, a challenge. OK, this person, you know, as much as they have a soft heart inside, they have a very hard time trusting in relationships because of all the endings that they have seen. They have a hard time letting go of their need to control the narrative. Okay. Like they need to control the narrative of this relationship and all relationships because of that fear that they have. And they also tend to find things Look or look for things that are wrong, like things nag at them. See, trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So they also tend to try to kind of focus more on the things that are going wrong than the things that are going right. So this is so unfortunate because I do feel that they are capable of great love. It's just they really do need to heal some of these aspects of themselves. It's like it's almost like they look for what can go wrong instead of what can go right in a relationship because they sometimes bail very quickly, right? They're, they're afraid that if they can't control these things, it's better to run away. It's better to run away from the relationship um, and bail on it before it can hurt you. So they tend to be very sensitive to picking out or being nitpicky about things. And I feel like that may be another reason why they have stepped away because see, reveal what needs to be seen. This is the thing. They are not revealing to you what needs to be seen by you. As in the feelings are there, but they are so much about control that they cannot reveal that real authentic side of themselves. 
that side of themselves that shows you who they really are, right? Because of their fears and their need to control. Very interesting reading. Um, very heavy on um, issues of trust, issues of you know, wanting to be in this kind of safe cocoon, but that cocoon is very lonely at the same time. So let's take a look at what would they say to you? What are their specific messages from for you from their deepest heart at this time? And then we'll take a look at what their next actions will be towards you in this connection. What do they want to do? So here's the thing. It's like this is somebody who is not or has not given up on you or this relationship. They truly, truly struggle with their own issues. So what I'm feeling is the main issue, the kind of like the main obstruction here is their own lack of belief in themselves. Not their feelings for you, but their own lack of belief that they can actually be in a successful relationship. This is where I feel like they have truly, truly struggled. And I feel like the, the thing that they're going back and forth on the most here is, is it better for me to be alone? Should I just, you know, resign myself to the fact that my relationships always end and they never go in the right direction. I always screw them up one way or the other. And should I just kind of be alone? Is it better for me to just give up? There's an energy here of like, they're asking themselves, is it better for me to just give up because I can never be or live up to what I should be in this relationship? But they go back and forth because at the same time, it's like they think of you as their home. Okay, there is a beautiful energy here of love, of gratitude, of connection between the two of you. And there's a part of them that does not want to let go of that because they know that they will regret it. Okay, so they have a lot of regrets here. There's something about you that is so real and powerful that is turning the tide, you know, that is making them really rethink this idea that it is better to withdraw, that it's better to just be on their own because you have built some sort of very strong memories in this person. And that is why they have not been able to let go of you. They are still in your energy. You are still in their energy. You are still very much in their thoughts and in their heart. And they're going like they're ruminating. Okay. Like they're going over this again and again in their mind, because look at their messages. I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. And I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. So this is the thing they have not been able to let go. See, our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. All right. So for some of you, I feel like there may have been some sort of a recurring energy here of family issues. Maybe there was an obstruction from a more difficult, you know, family, friends, some sort of a third parties here that were not supportive of this relationship that didn't understand that this relationship is something that is very different, that is unique, that is very special to the two of you. People didn't understand this. And I feel like they themselves didn't understand, but they're coming to this understanding now that they cannot just be in this, this mode of self-defeat. Okay, there's a very self-defeating energy here that your person is definitely trying to get over. And I feel like the, the scales are tipping here in the favor of you and of them actually committing to you because 
you know, again, this, these energies here are definitely a beautiful combination of, you know what, if I let go of you, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life because you have brought a very special love, a very special, beautiful, loving energy into my life that I didn't have before and that I've never really felt before with anybody else. So there's a real strength to the moments, the precious moments and the memories that you have built together. Your person is really re regretting letting go of that. Their, their challenge right now is to be able to finally open up and reveal what needs to be seen, what needs to be shown to you. And I feel like that's what they are working on right now. They're moving forward towards that. They're seeking answers and they have not let go of this connection. So I do feel that they're going to reveal themselves to you, but it may be a bit of a step-by-step -step type of process here. It may, it may require a little bit of patience and fortitude as you both move forward on this journey. So let me know what you thought in the comment box below. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I used in this reading, all of the links are in the box below. Also make sure to check out my new merch store. It's called the Live Tarot Bliss Store, where I've created some products for you that are just uplifting and add a lot of happiness and beauty to your life. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. It means so much to me. It really helps the channel as well. Thank you so much for being here. Love you all. See you on the next one. All right, my beautiful group two that chose the Jasper, here is your reading. We're taking a look at your person's energy right now. What are they thinking and feeling about you? if you've had little to no contact. So I've pulled some Oracle cards here for you and we're gonna start off here with your tarot. We have King of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands, wow. And we have the Eight of Swords. Interesting. All right, so let's see what Kipper has to say. Thoughts. Ah, interesting. All right, so here we have the King of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Eight of Swords, along with Thoughts and Toil and Labor. Okay, so first of all, what I'm feeling here is your person has definitely been dealing with issues of self-sabotage, that is for sure. Um, there are certain things that they are holding themselves back from in life right now, which is very interesting because you are very clearly in their thoughts all the time. Look at that. So one of the things that I'm feeling here is your person right now, they're, they're, they've stepped away from this connection because of certain practical or material issues that are going on in their life. Now, for some of you, I do feel that there is a third party situation here. It could be romantic. It doesn't have to be. I always say a third party situation can be anything, a person, a situation that is taking attention away or obstructing this connection, or obstructing this union from happening. So I feel for some of you, there is definitely a third party romantically, as in your person may be involved with somebody else at this time, but they are not happily involved with that person or they are seeking to leave that connection, but have not been able to do so. Okay, so they, there's definitely a split energy. So for those of you who that resonates with, take it as it resonates. I feel like, um, your person is tied to somebody else, but unhappily, but there is definitely energy here of like, they're not willing to 
or have not gotten to the point yet where they're willing to um, step away from that connection. They're, they're being bound by it in some way. Like it could be financial, it could be material. I feel like for some of you, it also has to do with maybe kids or other types of responsibilities, but they are definitely eight of swords holding themselves back from reaching a final resolution to that issue. Okay. For others of you, it's not a romantic third party. It's something else that has to do with their material life. Uh, I feel like right now they are really, really working very hard towards reaching some sort of uh, a goal or a responsibility that they must absolutely fulfill, but they are not happy about it. It is definitely a very tense situation. It's something that is putting a lot of pressure on them. And that is another reason why I'm feeling that they are not right now opening themselves up to love for this very reason. There's an energy here of right now, I need to be practical. I cannot open myself up to love. No matter how much I may be thinking of you, no matter how much I may be longing for you, I have this other responsibility. There's something else that is more important or that I need to prioritize in my life right now. That is the energy that I'm getting from your person. So there's something here that they may not even like to do. They may not. It's not even like it's something that brings them happiness or fulfillment or peace, but it's something that they feel that they must do. Okay, that's the energy that they are. There is some sort of an outside force that is um, putting pressure upon them to take charge of that situation. And that is why they're coming through with this King of Pentacles energy, right? There is an outside, some sort of outside responsibility, um, whether it is a, an unhappy marriage that they're in or whether they have other financial or family responsibilities that are is keeping them stuck in a particular position that they are not able to move out of. But I'm also feeling though that this is definitely a decision that your person is making, right? It is a definite, and because of this Eight of Swords, I'm telling you, there, there may be other people or other um, forces at work that are pressuring your person. But I have to say, honestly, your person is agreeing to that pressure. It is an agreement that they are making. Like if they wanted to, they could say no. They could say, no, I'm not going to let you or this situation stop me from being with this person that I love being with you. But I feel like they are agreeing to this. There is an agreement that they've made here. No matter how bad it is, no matter how painful it is, they are choosing this. They are self-sabotaging themselves out of some sense of duty, some sense of responsibility, or even some, some sense of guilt. There's something here that is coming through from your person that is also an energy of guilt. They're being feeling very guilty about not fulfilling these obligations, whatever they are, even though they are very burdensome, even though it's a toil, even though they don't like it. So I feel like they are deliberately holding themselves back from love at this time. Now, the good thing, though, the glimmer of hope that we see here is with the six of wands. So this tells me that what they are hoping to do is to slowly make their way back to love. But it's coming with this kind of hope and prayer energy that they have that they don't lose you completely in the process. See with the six of wands energy, it's like they want victory. Okay, they want to take action towards you. They want to take baby steps towards you, but it's not, I'm not feeling an energy of grand gestures. Okay. I'm not feeling this energy that they are wanting to make a grand gesture towards you right away. It's more like they want to find their way back to you, but step by step, um, one step at a time, because it's not something that they can fully give a hundred percent to at this time. Okay. So keep that in mind. So let's take a look at what else do we have here. So yeah, devotion, 
cool your emotions. Yeah, not surprised at all. Playfulness and mirror. Yeah, see, th see, so this is what I'm feeling. So I'm feeling that your person, they are not right now because of these issues that we've already seen, they are not in a place for a serious commitment. Okay, they are not right now um, ready for something that is serious or heavy because I'm feeling that they already feel like they have enough responsibility in their life. So what they're truly looking for is something that is more light. So they may have stepped away from this connection because things got serious faster than what they were ready for. Okay, Things, something definitely got serious here um, really fast. So I feel like the emotions are there, but the preparedness, like, you know, that sense of being ready for something deeper is not there. So this is why, again, I feel like it goes back to the Six of Wands energy. It's like they want to be with you, but they want it right now to be more light, more playful, more casual. So I feel like you're going to have to decide if that is something you are comfortable with. Is that something you're okay with? Is it okay with you to be with somebody who right now can probably give you less time and less energy than what would be going on in a serious relationship? I feel like over time, this devotion from them can build, but it's not going to be something that is there right now. And so Spirit is asking you to think about how much are you willing to accept? How much love and devotion are you willing to accept from this person at this time? Because it may not be a lot. It may be very, very small amounts of love and devotion in the beginning because see, cool your emotions. So I do feel that something here may have gotten very hot and heavy too fast for this person. And so they have stepped back in order to kind of, you know, having to have a cooling effect on the relationship. They may have stepped back because they're not able to offer you more at this time. Now, for some of you, again, there is a third party situation here um, where your person may be in another relationship. And that's another reason why they're cooling this off, right? Because they, they are right now for better or worse, whether they're happy in it or now, maybe they are committed to somebody else. So this is why they needed to cool this off. And for some of you, I'm feeling like be careful because for some of you, this person may, if, if, you, if this is a third party situation, for some of you, this person may be, this is just for some of you, not for everybody. So take it as it resonates, may be a, a bit of, of a player here. They may be playing with your heart especially if they have somebody else that they're already committed to. So for a small number of you, Spirit is saying, try to get to the bottom of the matter here. Like, are they just playing around with you? Are they just in this for some sort of fun on the side? Because not everybody has full, fully good intentions, you know, especially if they are in another relationship. So be careful of that. Spirit is saying, be careful of that for some of you. Um, I'm also feeling here that for some of you, there was something here that triggered a response of stepping away. So I feel like, again, there may have been something that has happened here that got very, very hot very, very quickly. You guys may have met and become very intimate emotionally or physically very quickly because there may have been a very strong physical and emotional connection that happened here. And because of that, you may have triggered each other in certain ways. There is a definite mirroring and triggering energy that is coming through here. So that may be another reason why your person has stepped away from this connection at this time. They are still in this, let's, I need to cool off my emotions. I think this got very, very, very intimate, very, very quickly. And they may not have been ready for that level of intimacy. 
Um, and it's interesting because I feel like what your person may be doing right now because of that level of intimacy is they may have stepped away with this eight of swords. They are trying to step away so that they can recalibrate this as a six of wands, as in let's let's be together, but let's let's slow things down a little bit because things got really intense really quickly. Maybe we need to slow things down a little bit and, you know, maybe get to know each other in a more, you know, you know, slower kind of systematic kind of way. So that is very interesting. Let's take a look at what they would say to you. What are their specific messages to you? And then we'll also take a look at what actions they want to take next. So we're getting that same pentacles energy yet again, which I find really interesting. Have you noticed this? This has been a definitely a, a, a reading that is very focused on some of the more practical aspects of what's going on. Um, your person very much being in that king of pentacles energy, right? Um trying to calibrate, kind of like restructure what is going on in their specific life and them not really, for some of you, not really creating a space for this relationship, right? They're not really creating that space. With that Eight of Swords, again, we're getting the sacred space. So where is the space for this connection? That's the problem. And again, for some of you, there is that third party situation that is blocking the sacred space for this connection. So whether it is a romantic third party or whether it is these other responsibilities that we've been seeing your person because we're getting material world again. So there is some sort of toil and labor that is going on here. Something that your person is very distracted by, whether it's a business, whether it's a career, whether it's a family business or family pressure, um, financial responsibilities, um, towards either other people or a, a specific um, you know situation that they are still in. This is a big stumbling factor in this relationship and I feel like it's coming through again and again. And the main issue here is them needing to create that space for this relationship them wanting to create that space because see look at their specific messages. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? Okay, so they haven't let go. No matter what, you know, they're going through right now, no matter how much they've kind of cooled off the relationship or stepped away from the relationship, they feel you always with them. They feel this energetic connection that is very, very powerful. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. See, so there's definitely, and it's interesting because that came right along with this loss of identity. So this is very powerful. So I do feel a very special um, message here for those of you who are in a third party situation. I feel like them meeting you and falling in love with you has really made them question their own identity. It's really made them question who they are and where they are in their life and whether they're happy and whether the, the life that they have right now is really the life that they want. Um, and that's why I feel like we're getting a lot of pentacles energy is that because it's also about practical life. What do I want in my day-to-day -day life? The life that I've created right now, is it the right life for me? And, and if so, why am I unhappy? Am I choosing to be unhappy? 
So there's a definite loss that they're feeling right now in terms of their identity. They're trying to figure out what it is that they really want, what's going to really make them happy, and why they have been self-sabotaging that happiness with this Eight of Swords, right? So there's a lot of questioning that is going on here, see? And when times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. So that's why I'm saying something has really been very difficult here. It's been pushing them, pulling them. But I do feel that this loss that your person is feeling is really inspiring them to create a space for something new to step in. So this is the energy of where they are headed right now, which is I need to create a space for what I truly love, who I truly love, and where I really want to go. And this is what I'm loving about kind of like their next actions is that they're going to try to create a space, create a sacred space for the two of you to move forward. And again, it may be slow going, six of wands. It may not be like the fastest, grandest gesture, but there's definitely a desire and inspiration to move forward and to clear this energy, to clear the air, to make a sacred space for this relationship to slowly move forward. So let me know what you thought in the comment box below. And um, if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order in any of the Oracle decks that I used in this reading, all of the links are in the box below. Also make sure to check out my new merch store. It's called the Lift Tarot Bliss Store and it has um, products in it that are just designed to add beauty and upliftment to your life. And if you haven't already, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up, like it, and please do subscribe and join the family. It means so much to me. Thank you guys for being here. I love you. I'll see you all on the next one. My beautiful group three that chose the amethyst, here is your reading. Have some oracle cards here for you. And we're going to start off with your tarot though. Let's take a look at what your person is thinking and feeling about you at this time and what is going on in their current energy since you've had little to no contact. Justice. Death. Page of Swords. Let's see what Kipper has to say here. Wow. Hmm. We have some really big energies coming through here. Let's take a look. We have Justice. We have death or rebirth. We have a page of swords. We have the lovers. And we have child. Wow. All right. So first of all, there are definite energies here that are really, really big. There's been some sort of a struggle. There's been some sort of an ending here, but I feel like your person in their mind, in their heart, there is a desire here for a rebirth, a rebirth in this connection, because look at this, we have a very strong lover's energy coming through here. So whatever has happened here, your person is feeling like it was really unfair, that there's something that happened here that made the situation feel unfair or made whatever happened between the two of you did not feel just, it did not feel like it was right. Okay, so you know how sometimes things happen and you're like, how, how did we get from here to here? How did we ever, I mean, we started off so amazing in this connection. How did we get from that to where we are right now? And sometimes I feel like there is this, there's this, this feeling of like a snowballing effect 
where sometimes you get into a cycle in a love relationship that where you just feel like things are cycling down like it's snowballing into something bigger and bigger and i'm feeling for some of you this is not for everybody i'm feeling that for some of you there may have been some sort of issue here with um pressure being put by um a child that you may already have or like it doesn't have to be a small child but it could be even you know a, a young person that you or your person is responsible for um who takes up a lot of your attention or takes up a lot of your time and you have a responsibility to that may have led to some sort of a drama or some sort of obstacles here um i feel like for some of you there's something here where these responsibilities or this other person it could be a young person created some sort of tension or drama in the relationship and there may have been some sort of lying i'm feeling some sort of like a um, uh, dishonesty that came from this situation and it was not just it was not fair I feel for some of you, and again, this is a very specific story, so just take it as it resonates. I feel like whoever this other person was, whoever this other young person was, may have been very unfair to you. They may have lied about you. They may have told tales about you that was very, very unjust, that caused a lot of tension and a lot of friction in this connection, and that may have definitely led to um, the death of it or some sort of struggle within that connection that, that you were having a very hard time dealing with and communicating about with this page of swords energy i feel like you may have held back a lot of your true thoughts and feelings about this other person because you knew that if you said something that you would not have been supported or you would not have been believed because it's hard to go up against the word of this person whoever this person is okay so there's something here that's specific for some of you for others of you, I feel like there was some sort of an issue here when it came to communication and things were not being communicated clearly or honestly. Um, there was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of um, misunderstandings that also felt very unfair. I feel like many of you felt that your person really misunderstood what you were trying to say or what your intentions were. And they kind of, um, you know, they didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. Like they, they thought the worst of you when they should not have. And that was a big mistake that they know now. They're starting to feel that they have made because... I think in the moment, they may have had a very knee-jerk response. I feel that in whatever moments that led to this struggle or separation, and the reason why there may be little to no contact between the two of you is because your person, I think that they really did not give you the benefit of the doubt. I think that they jumped to some sort of conclusion. Um, they didn't hear you out and it was very unfair. It was very unjust the way they treated you. They didn't give you a chance to explain. They didn't give you a chance to really um, talk about or discuss what the issue was. They came to some very fast and harsh conclusions that they are now really starting to regret because they they almost thought that oh well you know this is over you know this is not what you know what i thought it would be whatever i think they had a very hasty kind of judgment but now they're realizing that they truly do love you so they didn't realize the depth of what their feelings were they thought that they could just kind of you know be done with this um they could just kind of move on from this but they're realizing now that they really can't and that they've made a real mistake. Now, for some of you, I'm also feeling that this child also represents, for those of you who it's not an actual person or an actual young person, I feel like this child also represents a little bit of immaturity on the part of your person. So for those of you who you uh, there isn't a specific child that has or a young person that has obstructed this connection, I feel like this has to do with your own person's 
immature outlook sometimes. I feel like your person can be a bit immature as well. And that also comes through with this page of swords. Like they may be very immature in the way they communicate, the things they say. They jump to conclusions fast. They don't have patience. There's an energy of impatience that is also coming through here. Like if things don't go their way, they're very impatient as to just kind of move on. Oh, things didn't go my this my way. Okay, then I should just cut it and move on. Cut my losses, move on to the next. But it's a very immature attitude, right? This is not somebody who is um, very patient and understanding. This is definitely something they need to learn how to be. But I do feel that they're learning this the hard way they're learning that you know what they may have been too quick to come to a judgment here and that quickness of you know being reactive um, that quick to judge that quick to make assumptions tendency is really uh now working against them yeah see because see step up and lead restriction yeah so this is i feel like this is the way in which your person is really restricting their own progress right now through that sense of immaturity and because of that i feel like this death and rebirth has been a bit of a cycle in your person's life you know they tend to end things faster than they should they tend to not give people more benefit of the doubt they tend to not give people a chance and because of that they've really been kind of cycling through a lot of endings in their life whether it's endings of friendships whether it's endings of even like jobs and relationships i feel like your person right now in their energy their greatest lesson is going to be to learn to be more patient to not restrict themselves from deeper understanding they really do restrict themselves from really deep meaningful connection and experiences because they tend to run from one to the other and that is actually very restricting to their own development as well Okay, it's this is somebody who is restricting themselves, who is depriving themselves of the true love and connection that they could truly have with you. And I feel like as they have stepped away from you or as you have stepped away from them, they're finally understanding this. Um, they're finally starting to see the kind of problems of their ways right they're they're finally starting to feel a very deep sense of um uh, deep sense of regret over the cycles that they go through that have been taking them into um very unstable patterns of relationships and behavior um, so this is why I feel like it's time for them and they've realized this, that they need to really decide what it is that they truly want, because I feel like they are going back and forth at this time um, because of, again, that sense of lack of patience that they have. It's like they they are feeling a lot of love, a lot of passion and a lot of desire to come towards you. Okay? They, they're feeling the pull of coming towards you, of wanting to come towards you. But they've also realized that they tend to come to you and go back, come to you and go back. And they can't just keep repeating that cycle. That is why I feel like they're really coming to this idea that it's time for them to decide once and for all, what is it that they truly want and to commit to that because they can't just keep stepping back and forth from you. It's time for them. The universe is calling upon them to step up and lead and to do it right this time in this connection because they're not able to let you go, right? Because they feel a very strong pull towards you. This pull is also about making them kind of step up and lead to not just be the person who keeps running away, you know, the person who is always limiting themselves, restricting themselves away from real love and kind of just keeping it very casual, you know, like I'm out as soon as things get tough, I'm out. It's like that kind of energy, right? So this is why I feel like spirit is also saying that it's time to also protect yourself, you know, for you call back your power, cut the cords and soul retrieval. So if you feel that this person is stepping back and coming forward, stepping back and coming forward because 
they tend to be a little immature, it's also time for you to protect yourself from that, to cut the cords, because you may have needed to do that to protect yourself, but also to show this person that they can't just keep um, you know, pulling at your heart this way, right? Like they can't just keep changing their minds from that own sense of immaturity, right? So let's take a look at what they would say to you. What are their messages specifically from their heart to yours? a look at their next steps like their next actions what would they want to do next for you in this connection yeah interesting <laughs> All right, so for many of you, for most of you, what I'm feeling here is that if you have definitely sought to protect yourself, and the reason why right now you guys are in little to no contact, it is definitely because you may be protecting yourself, you may be calling back your own power because this person was very, you know, in and out. Um, they weren't off, you know, really giving you a solid offer and they were too immature to really, um, commit to you in a way that matters. Right. So I feel like through this process, there was definitely a timing, right? There was definitely time spent here trying to figure out, you know, what is it that you truly want? That's why we had that whole energy here of, you know, deciding very soon. So I feel like it's become very clear to them with this lover's energy and the soulmate card that you are their soulmate, that they definitely wish to be with you, that they wish to surrender to this connection. And I feel like whatever this um, separation has been has actually been helpful to this connection. This person needed that. This person needed the distance in order to really see the ways in which they have been doing this all wrong, right? Um, with that death and rebirth, like the ways, the way, the way that they have been going in and out of relationships in their life has really not served them. And when they finally met you, their soulmate, and lost you, this is their, you know, moment of awakening, right? Light bulb moment that I can't do this anymore. See, I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Right? So this is something, it's almost like... <laughs> better late than never it's almost like they're coming to this conclusion a bit late so spirit is saying like you know you may not have heard from them in a while and you may just hear from them out of the blue because this person is kind of like it took them a while to learn this lesson and so now you may have to decide like are you willing to um are you willing to give them another chance and for a small part of you, I feel like they are still in denial. See, we were too different. That's why I'm with someone similar to me. So I feel like for some, for some of you, this person, they could not take this challenge. Like they could not really commit to the depth of what this relationship or this connection is. And this is part of their immaturity. So for some of you, your person is still in an immature phase. They are not opening up to that deeper level of maturity, that deeper level of um, soulmate connection. So they're kind of still in that casual connection mode, right? Like they're still pursuing casual 
connections that are really not that meaningful that they're going to kind of come in, in and out of. So that's for some of you. Okay. So for some of you, it might be the right thing that you guys are not together at this time because this person is too flaky. For some of you, this is a very flaky person. But for most of you, I'm feeling that this, this, um, separation has really driven them back into this understanding of it is time for me to grow. It is time for me to grow into this love because this love is real. It's time for me to surrender to what is real. And now I've realized that I can't run from my heart anymore. I can't run from how I feel anymore. And that it's time for me to decide and know that I can step into a better place. I can step up and lead now when it comes to love. Wow, this is really beautiful. So I'm loving this energy of, you know, the timing is right. It's time for me to grow. There's a very much of a growth energy coming through here. It's time for me to be fair. They want to be fair to you. They want to grow into this relationship and make you a solid offer. Beautiful. So let me know what you thought in the comment box below if you'd like to have a personal reading with me or order any of the Oracle decks that I used in this reading. All of the links are in the box below. Also check out my new merch store. It's called Live Tarot Bliss Store and it has a bunch of products to just bring some beauty and upliftment into your life and into your home. So make sure you check that out. Also, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. It's absolutely free, helps the channel, and it means so much to me. Thank you for being here, guys. Love you all. See you all in the next one.